Welcome back to Let's Deal Hand of Fate, Burning Dog fans. Tarantus is ready to take on the Jack of Scales. The question is, is he in the area? No! No, he is the not. Horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. The maiden! I hope you are prepared. that line. Remember, hero, that bold heroes make for... Remember, mortal, that bold heroes make for great ballads. But survivors think twice before meddling in the affairs of gods and monsters. I lost it completely. Okay. I still remember getting incredulous messages when I aced the river the very first time. I'm told that one gets much trickier once you uh, beat the first row and you start with armor on. almost reach the other side and you lose your footing and slip from the ledge. As you fall, you wonder whether the oracle foresaw this. Your journey to consult the oracle has failed, and the dealer draws you one pain card. My leg. Nasty. We play for a token now. That's right, I'm crazy blessed right now. Can you turn the tables? Have you learned enough? Well, I wish they told me that before. Still, I'll just murder him and we'll be on our way. You know, the king needs to be taken care of. Indeed, you have defeated something that I never expected to die. What a curious symbol. 
For exploring the maze of traps, you receive Scavenger's Cap. For donating food for the orphans, you receive Ring of Punishment and Charity Six. Halfway done. Let us continue. You keep coming back. There is strength in that. I am a very determined man. Christ. Okay. Whenever a, a weapon ability is used, the player consumes one food, so I won't be using any weapon abilities. Skin Rash. The player draws from the pain deck on every fourth step. And just for fun, it adds in some mobs of uh, lizard men and rusty axes that can come up, I guess, in the uh, in the armory uh, draws. Oh boy! Again, the great lizard will rebuff you. Never, not even one time. All I have to do here is say no and walk away. Dance. I have made my wager. I'll also make my deal. You have questions, and I will provide answers. After all, that is why you came here, is it not? Praise the old gods. I love this card. should have taught this man to fish, eh? <laughs> That's a tin food, man. Man. Fucking food inflation. The priest looks at your humble offering for a moment, then sighs. Every morsel is treasured, of course, but the children will need more sustenance to make it through the winter. It's totally a different voice than the one I used last time. Oh, suck my ass. Oh, fuck! I do have to go back. The soul jam could be awesome. It could help me get rid of the food, of the, uh, the pain thing. Barely enough left to feed a mouse. At this rate, you may end up as food for them. While walking by the sea, you notice it surge up. Out of the surf rises the ghostly wife of the tavern owner. Your fight against the Kraken has won her favor. Greetings, adventurer. May my eternal gratitude help you on this journey. Ah. 
I'm sure you are grateful for that. Deeply. Oh, fuck. The deeper you go, the greater the risk of starvation. As long as you play and persist, we will continue to draw closer to a resolution. Very few have come close to unraveling the game, mind you. And none have succeeded. Oh! Took down your luck, friend, he says at something. Take this at no charge. I get one draw card if I succeed, if I do the call out and offer help. I don't remember what happens if you steal. Oh yes, it spills food everywhere. Better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Always forget about that. As long as you play and persist, we will continue to draw closer to a resolution. Very few have come close to unraveling the game, mind you. And none have succeeded. That's real fast. Man, this is a brutal run. Okay. Oh, not with that, no. Awesome. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Fuck me, that's a lot of dudes. I don't even have a, a special weapon yet. I'll take that. Buddy. How dare you? Almost 
feels like the game slow bitched that last one. Make this one even more brutal. No. Any food to recover from this. Well, I'm still pretty pleased with myself that I managed to survive that. Like, at all. Oh. Well, that's helpful. What an ignominious way to go. I do hope you find something to eat soon. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're opening it. Get over there and see what you will find. How unpleasant. Yeah, I'm fucked. Can't get food from that. Again, you come to the final floor. Again, you challenge my greatest warrior. Starvation begins to set in. Try to stay calm. Fear will only hasten your demise. Truly, a dismal fate. Piss. One more run. One more attempt. Always. Till I win. Victory is impossible. You've said that about all of them so far. You know that, right? Okay, what was it working out? Let's put that away. Fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. The Labyrinth. You follow the Huntsman's voice in further into the stone structure. At first glance, it appears is appears decrepit, but you start to notice signs that it is still in use. Fresh torches hang in sconces on the wall, and you can make out a jumble of footprints in the dust. Passageways splinter off and twist away in every direction. When I first started hunting the beast, I considered it just that. A mindless animal with an unquenchable thirst for blood. Huntsman's voice now appears to be coming from all around you. It fought, rampaged, and devoured with no apparent focus. In time, though, I came to discover that there was a meaning to the beast's madness. The white minotaur is singular in its power, but it pursues its own kind as zealously as I pursue it. The branching pathways of the labyrinth start to confuse and disorient you. I cannot tell you why, whether it be for family or for food. The huntsman's voice echoes weakly out of the darkness, as if now further away. I won't bore you with any more details. Suffice it to say that this place makes the perfect trap. However, every trap needs a lure, and the trouble is that my lure is hungry. 
Old Whitey didn't take the bait this time, but you are my consolation prize. Off in the dark, you hear the scrape of steel and stone, followed by a blood-curdling roar. Just so we're clear, I'm locking you in here with them. You did better than most, but now we must part ways. Well, that's a hell of a way to get started. He went, I, how long as that thing was in between us? Alright, let's do it. Again, you lose. I thought you would do better than this. Keep coming back. There is strength in that. You're a bit bipolar in the way you talk to me. You know, you ever realize that? Again, the great lizard will rebuff you. Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Deal Hand of Fate. I'm going to try this once again. Hopefully make some real progress in beating that bastard, the King of Scales. Later! Later!